Welcome to another volume of The Big Six. We hope you had a great movement experience last week. This week, we're gonna take things a bit further. We're gonna focus on the upper body though. And if I turn to the side, if the muscles on the front side of my upper body are short and tight, so my pecs, my subscap, my lat, uh, I'm gonna be rounded. Uh, and that means the muscles on the back side of my body are gonna be long. Uh, so the brain's always trying to figure out, okay, how do I open up this chest? So let's start really on the ground and, and focus on not just T-spine or thoracic spine rotation, but also just alignment and posture generally for the upper body. I'm gonna start here. We're gonna do a modified dead back up. So you can start kneeling and we're gonna walk out into that plank and come back. We're gonna walk out again with reach, come back to this position, walk out again here, and then back to that position. Don't worry, we're gonna get the lower body, we're gonna come across here, involved. But for right now, we're just gonna work to the upper body. So I'm gonna come across my body here with my left hand. And then I want to work onto my elbows. And then from elbows, we're gonna come back up. We're gonna go back down to the elbow again. We're gonna have a reach. Come back up and down to the elbows again. Reach and come back up. And so that's our first movement. Next, we're gonna to go to quadruped. And what we're going to do this time for a quadruped, we're gonna work on hip extension. So I'm gonna flex the knee. I'm gonna go alternating footprint to ceiling. So I'm gonna work on my hip extensors, my glutes primarily, because my knees are bent. My hamstrings are otherwise occupied. I'm going to work through here, just really trying to open up the hip in terms of extension. And I'm trying not to arch my back. Awesome. All right, so now, now we have that done, we're going to go ahead and step through. And we're going to work T-spine rotation, but it's also going to lower my hip. And we're going to alternate sides with our T-spine rotation. All right, if I turn to you, it's here. I'm gonna push the ground away with my, the, the hand that's on the ground. Really wanna to try to open up that T-spine, making sure I'm loading the hip. And keep going there. Really making sure we got a great mobility. All right, so now the entire time I've been using my upper body really in terms of uh, position. <clears throat> I'm gonna turn again. What I'm gonna do this time, we're gonna get the hips on the ground. I'm gonna start from this position. I'm gonna pull my belly button off the ground. I'm gonna come up, choose my elbows. All right, if you, uh, if you have a little bit of low back pain and this may be a bit difficult, you can put a, um, a pillow or fold up a blanket or the cushion on the couch under your hip. But we want to work, I'm going to pull my shoulder blades down. I'm going to work through thoracic extension and then back down. Pull down, work through thoracic extension, back down. Pull through thoracic extension, back down. And so we've got, this is our fourth movement. And I'm just sliding my shoulder blades down along my rib cage and I'm trying to get so it makes sense not by lifting my head, but by really pulling my shoulder blades down and lifting my heart, trying to open up the front part of my chest. And I'm gonna work a few more. Good deal. And so some upper body work there. Now we can come back into quadruped, but then walk out just to make sure we've got a good position. We can turn the palms up, our hands out a bit, and then we can do a half push-up or we can do a full push-up. All right, squeezing the shoulder blades together at the bottom, pushing them away at the top, keeping that core engaged, and just letting the upper body work a bit. Okay, and again, you can go halfway. Uh, if you wanted to put something 
that you can kind of rest on in the bottom, that's fine. So a yoga block or a cushion, you can go a quarter of the way if that's all you can do. Or you can kind of just do some shoulder taps or you can walk your hands into different positions, all right? So kind of a, a diagonal, all right? That still gets your core engaged. It still challenges your upper body because you're, you're getting your shoulders stable on your rib cage. And so that, that was our fifth move there in terms of just trying to gain shoulder mobility. Uh, for some of us, doing like a panther walk is really challenging, uh, not only because of the feet uh, and ankles, but sometimes because of the knee and hip. So the next position we do, we won't crawl, but we're gonna start in quadruped. Right, and we're gonna just try to do a bit of a downward dog but I'm gonna modify it so that we put more stress on the shoulder joint. So the hands are open a bit. And if we can, we're gonna just kind of come up here and we're working on that position. Again, which can be tough. And if you feel like your fitness level allows you to say, all right, well, I really just wanna work into that dog, then you can do that. Still loading the shoulder. But again, here, just trying to push back away from, from the, the ground through an extended elbow, pushing through the wrist, and then allowing the shoulder blade to kind of sink itself on the ribcage. Now, we went through those movements and we went through pretty quickly. So you can do that, you do a few series of those, and that will really get your core engaged, but primarily the focus is upper body power, upper body stability and alignment, posture. If you sit at a desk all day, it's gonna be really, really tough to say that you can maintain this alignment. And then just getting here, maintaining the proper alignment can be very difficult because the muscles that you're engaging all day in terms of typing, on the phone, driving, pulls you into this position. So everything we did today, the idea was to really kind of get you to open up. And by doing that, it allows you actually better access to the strength that you have in your lower body. And so that was our big six, or that is our big six for this coming week. We hope that it enriches your movement experience and allows you to move well, live well, and do amazing things. Thanks for tuning in.